good old days when we lived in communist states. <laughs> Remember the good old days. Ha ha he he, I'm hippie. Here are some Slavic words. Shit. My daughter says that I am being dick, but it's just my culture, you fucking pieces of shit. Ha ha he he ha 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 he he. This is how my people cry. Ha ha he he ha 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 he he. Everybody. Win the whole thing. Give it up for Megan McCaleb. Ooh, hey everyone. I really like this job because you just get to travel a lot of different places and see new people. And it's been a little while since we've been out and about. And uh, the last gig I did before COVID, I was in Vegas and I was on an airplane next to a blind fella, which had me wondering: Do they even have Braille strip clubs? <laughs> And if they do, is that really where you want to be with a heightened sense of hearing and smell? It's just things I think about as I keep watching and just go around. All right, a little bit about me. I have given birth to five babies. Yes, thank you. One of them was 11 pounds when he was born. Yeah. yeah I was like, ha! It was like, whoa! <laughs> Like there's this gaping cavernous hole where once resided my little It's just this, this just the sad remain that I was like vulva, vulva, vulva. Just a whole shitload of little blonde haired blue eyed kids. Maybe Michael take a few of them off my hands. See how that works with the adoption. He let's see if he wants to put his money where his mouth is. After having a lot of kids, your body changes a little bit. You kind of look for structured, fitted things like I like to do. You just don't know stretch marks until you've gotten a spray tan and you look like a set of mini blinds. <laughs> it's really awkward. <sighs> it's still, it does feel good to be back and seeing people's faces. You guys, as soon as this all crashed down, I was like, was, I heard about the vaccine. I was like an early adopter. I was like, how do I do this? How do I sign up? Early on, some of you guys might have remembered, it was kind of challenging. Like, it felt actually a lot like my dating life. I find, found myself online a lot, trying to just be matched up with a provider, <laughs> looking for someone who was actually available. And even though I was not 100% convinced of his effectiveness, I still couldn't wait to get it inside me. So I got all those kids. We had back to school night a couple of weeks ago, and in Idaho, people are really like, it's very hit or miss. Lots of people are being brats about uh, wearing the mask. Most of us were wearing them in this little classroom, and one woman was not only not wearing a mask, but she was just chomping her gum, just, just real Idaho cow style. And across the little cluster of tables, a gleek goes all the way the length of my arm from shoulder to hand and I could feel the wetness just seeping into my flesh. Oh. And I explained to my kids what happened because I was like, we gotta get out of here. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna, like that. And my little eight-year-old was like, you know, if she'd been wearing her mask, her spit wouldn't have gotten on you. 
And I was like, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. So the other thing that goes real sideways when you have a lot of babies is your boobs. Um, at least this one does. This one sort of stays up there, the other one, you know. Um, they used to be real big and bouncy. I wasted them on someone who didn't uh, really appreciate it. I divorced my ex-husband, the father of all the babies, uh, after like 16 years because, you know what? I needed at least 50% of my time to spend chasing my dreams and to have an uninterrupted shit in a shower from time to time. It's just what we strive for. But then it, it just, like all those years later, it just it's just like a couple of whoopee cushions under there. It's just There's just real no integrity down there. Trying to put a bra on anymore is a lot like trying to put a bra onto one of those air tube wobbly arm guys that are outside of the car dealership. <laughs> Only like at the end of the night when they close it, they're like, hey Raj, pull the cord! It's like, 